Oh yeah, 180 bucks. I'm gonna be living large now. Now listen, chump, I'm gonna back away really slowly, and you're not allowed to call the cost for at least 10 minutes. Got it? Yes. All right. <laughs> and then he took the whole contents of my till. $180! I will not rest until I find this man, Jimmy. There's nothing in this world I hate more than crime. Okay, well, thank you so much. Don't tell anyone that I told you. I won't. The information you've provided me will remain completely confidential. Now get out of here. Just got a tip about the robbery at the Klondike Inn. This is the third guy that says this guy, Neil Hebert, is the perpetrator. Seems we can find him tonight at the Taco Hotel. From the video surveillance, looks like he's a pretty tough guy. We're gonna need backup. So she was like, I'm not giving you the money, and I was like, you better give me the money. Yeah, yeah that's, that's what I'm talking about, right? Bear? Yeah, that's me. What do you want? You are under arrest for the theft of $180 from the Klondike Inn. You didn't think we'd catch you, did you? What? Who said something? How'd you find out? Let me go. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You also have the right to phone a lawyer at any point. Do you understand? Yeah, I got it. Let me, let me talk to my lawyer. No. Ah. Okay, Neil, are you listening to me? Pay attention. Do not say anything until I get down there. The police are going to lie to you, they're going to try and trick you, they're going to try and get you to talk, but under no circumstances are you to speak to them, okay? Repeat after me. Do not talk to the cops until I get down there. You just can't help yourself. I don't know we're having an interview. I don't want to talk to you. I don't have to talk to you. I won't. You're right, Neil. You don't have to talk to me. But I'm just... curious. You see, the question for me isn't whether or not you did it. I already know that you did it. The evidence is so overwhelming. The question for me is why? Why would someone like you with such a nice little family do something so awful to Mr. Jones at the Klondike Inn? I see how it is, Neil. You're absolutely right. You don't have to speak. But if you want help, and you want to make this better, just let me know. I want to go back to my cell. <sighs> okay. Since you're not going to tell me, I guess I'll just put you back. God damn it, this guy is good! Won't even budge! I just don't... What can we do? I just don't think we can get him without a confession. Mike, I have an idea. What? What is it? What can we possibly do? I just know he did it! Put him in the cell with me. I'll get him to talk. Miller, you've done it again. 
You're a genius. Fuck the police! Am I right? Yeah? Yeah, totally. Can't believe I got caught! It's been months since I stole that car! I don't know how they figured it out! Not much of a talker, are ya? <clears throat> Must be a serious charge! Murder? Rape? I almost killed someone once. Call my mother fat! I was provoked. Nothing ever came of it, though. I didn't kill anybody. It wasn't like that at all. Well, what'd you do then? You know, I sure could use a friend right now. Promise you won't think I'm weird if I tell you something? I don't think anyone's really bad. I think even us criminals are innocent. Like we're all just a product of our environment. Hey, that's cool. I like that. Where did you hear that? Guess I read it somewhere once. I just think it's not really our fault we have to do bad things. I mean, I stole that car to feel power. I was teased as a child, you know. So I got bullied a lot and I guess it just makes me feel better about myself when I can hurt someone else. I'm sorry to hear that. And what about you? I mean, you're not really a bad person. Not evil or anything. What got you in here? I don't know. I guess I was just hungry. I figured I'd get enough money out of the Klondike Inns till I get something to eat, you know? Gotcha! What? You're not my friend. You're an imposter. You tricked me. You're a cop. The essence of the right to silence is that the suspect be given a choice. The right is quite simply the freedom to choose. The freedom to speak to the authorities on the one hand, or the freedom to refuse to make a statement on the other. This right of choice comprehends the notion that the suspect has been accorded the right to consult counsel, and thus to be informed of the alternatives and their consequences, and that the actions of the authorities have not unfairly frustrated his or her decision on the question of whether to make a statement to the authorities. In this case, the accused exercised his right not to speak to the police when he advised them that he did not wish to make a statement. When he later spoke to the undercover policeman, he was not reversing that decision in choosing to speak to the police. He was choosing to speak to a fellow prisoner, which is a quite a different manner. The Crown, in using a trick to negate his decision not to speak, violated his rights. Accordingly, I would allow this appeal and restore the equipment.